So let me ask you, what is a layer mask? The only purpose of layer mask is to hide the layer. So here we have a beautiful image. On top, we have this flow text. We want to create the text layer in such a way that the O comes from behind the man. Let's create a layer mask by clicking on this icon. It creates something right there. At the moment, it is all white. So if the layer mask is selected and you select the brush right there, select the soft round brush. Set the opacity and the flow to 100% and you start painting with black. Have a look. Those areas? Hides. What is happening? Inside of the mask of that area is black, which means that area is simply not showing up. Black are the areas which hide. White are the areas which show up. However, if you paint that area back with white, have a look. It starts showing up which means it is not permanent. It's absolutely non-destructive, and that's a great thing. Let me show you a better way to do this. Let's delete the mask by dragging it to the trash. Now let's add a layer mask. Choose this image layer, and then go to select and choose subject. Just click on the mask. Choose the brush tool. Set the foreground color to black. And let's hide the areas that we want to hide by painting with black like this. We are hiding parts of the text. To show these area back, paint with the white color. Just remember, black hides, white shows. I will use the hard round brush. I want to keep this part, and I will hide this part of the text to show his leg. When you finish, go to select and choose deselect. Here's the before, here's the after. Are you wondering why use a layer mask in the first place? You can use the eraser, right? Let's try using the eraser tool. We can't use it here because the background layer is locked. Let's unlock it. Now, if we use the eraser tool and started deleting parts of the image, there is a problem. We deleted this part, but if we want it back, we cannot get it back. That part is gone. We use layer mask because it is non-destructive and it works with non-rasterized layers. Use the brush tool. Set the foreground color to black. And let's start painting. Remember, black hides, white shows. To get it back, set the foreground color to white and start painting. It is that simple and it is non-destructive to the image. The layer mask has its own properties. Let's say you want to create a vignette. Let's create a curve adjustment layer. Now what we want to do is create a vignette. So take the point on the right hand side down like that. Make sure the mask is selected. Now take the brush. Choose the hard round brush. Let's make the brush a little big. Make sure the opacity and flow are at 100%. Black is the foreground color. And just tab in the middle with... If you double click on the layer mask, you should see the properties. If you increase the feather, it simply blurs the mask in a non-destructive way. This is looking fine. You can also find this properties under Window, Properties. Now that's not all. Watch this. With the mask selected, if you press Ctrl T, you can move it around and resize it if you want. It is all up to you. Did you know that the layer mask has its own density? The next part will be a little fun. Click on the adjustment layer and choose Color Lookup. Right from here, you can choose whatever you want. Let's choose fall colors. Now let's say we only want it on the subject. Double click on the mask. Click on invert to invert the mask. Now it is all hidden. Choose the brush tool. We want to show parts of the mask. So we set the foreground color to white. Remember, white shows, black hides. Start painting where you want the color grade to be seen.
Here's the before, here's the after. Let me show you an easier way to do it. Delete the adjustment layer. Before creating any adjustment layer, if you just make a selection beforehand, let's click on Select Subject. And then if we created a Color Lookup Adjustment Layer, have a look. It already comes with that mask. Now let's change it to Fall Colors. As you can see here, the effect came only on the subject. Now it is looking a little odd because it's all on the subject, not on the background. Double click on the mask to open the properties. Just decrease the density. See what happens. It is just like opacity for the mask. If the density is at zero, it acts as if there were no mask in the first place. But as you begin to increase the density, it is like the opacity of the mask increases and the effect of the mask become more and more seen. I am going to keep it at about 55%. Here's the before, here's the after. Now let's see how to duplicate a mask. We have this mask here and we want to copy it to the background layer. Just hold Alt and drag the mask to this layer. It didn't work because this layer is locked. Let's unlock it and try again. It is that easy to duplicate a mask. Now, if I tried to move this mask, the whole image moves with it because it is linked to the mask. If we unlink the mask and click on the image here, and now when we try to move it, it moves without the mask. You can also press Ctrl T and scale the image inside the mask. When you finish, don't forget to link back the mask to the image. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Also watch other tutorials in my channel.